Hello and welcome to the update about Bitcoin and uh, not much price movement since the last update. Um, I want to just, you know, or explain or highlight a few key points here. Um, a bullish scenario is still possible, which would be that we are going to break out above. So to, to make that more likely, we would need to break above 22,100 impulsively and ideally hold the $19,400 level. Yeah? So if we do not do this, there is no bullish scenario really um, that is probable. So unless we go above 22,100, I will not really talk about the bullish scenario anymore. Please understand that. Um, it is just also ne needed for simplicity reasons. You know, um, there is a scenario where we could without a problem get into the region between 23,000 and 25,000. Is it probable? No. Therefore, I leave it off the chart for now, but anything is of course possible. But um, this scenario has become very unlikely, okay? But it's still possible. As long as we hold above 19,400, um, also realistic, but again, the, the 22,100 level needs to be broken. So, and then it's all about, you know, which, you know, how strong is the retracement going to be in this wave two? Because we have the possibility that we are, you know, that we came down here in the wave one, that we're going to retrace in a wave two that might take us into the region 21, 22K, and we would then sell off in a wave three. That is absolutely possible. That is what would need to happen imminently. Yeah, basically imminently. Um, because of the wave count here, it would suggest that we saw here a wave one to the downside and then here an A and a B and we, so basically an expanded flat that would become and then we would see a wave C to the upside. Um, so maybe it's not going to be that strong. Maybe we only touch the 21K or go just below it. It would be a very weak wave two then. But the point is the wave two should not go above 22,100. Otherwise, the bullish scenario will become more likely. Now, if we go down straight away, let's say we cut below 19K, then I think we will not see a very strong retracement for wave two. Then I think, to be fair, we could then say that the wave um, that the wave two was already finished, even though it is not my primary expectation. Yeah, but this is what the possibility is. So we just need to have on the radar the possibility that the wave two was already finished in a very weak market and in a so-called running flat pattern, that would be possible. Yeah, so in that scenario, wave two was already in here. Can you see that? That was at 20,415 and it would have been a retracement, not even of the 23.6% FIB level. So again, it's not my primary expectation. It's a very weak wave two. It would work very nicely with the proportions between waves A and B and C yeah but it is not my primary expectation it's a bit too weak for a wave two however it is not um it is not invalid so there is no rule that tells us that wave two couldn't be a very shallow one okay so this would be um, a scenario that we have to focus more on if we go below 19k straight away it would make a, you know, a scenario with a stronger retracement unlikely because then I'm looking at this here in terms of, okay, this was the wave two and we're now in a wave one of a wave three. Why is that? Because, you know, I'm already on the one hour chart. We could then see um, this here already as an unfolding diagonal to the downside, which would be a wave one. So basically here, one, two, three, here probably the way four is a triangle and another dip so i'm just saying be ready for another dip yeah and to be honest we have to assume another dip unless resistance is broken you can see the descending trend line here unless this, that descending trend line is broken i think we have to expect another dip so we would break it if we went above twenty thousand now okay um, so if we see another dip, yeah, that might take us just above 19,000. We'll make it difficult again, but that would then be a wave one. So I'm just going to add to do that in, put that in yellow here. And we can see the, um, the subdivisions maybe a little bit better. 
And yeah, we would then have to say, all right, this was of the wave three, here a first wave, and this is gonna be a two, three, four, five, and so on, to finish off the third there, yeah? So that this is clearer here, yeah? So these are five waves within a wave one as a diagonal. It would need to be one more dip based on that. And then a wave two retracement, where we might just touch the trend line here and then come down in a, in a larger sell-off. That might happen on the weekend, that larger sell-off. So be ready for that potentially, unless, unless we can now go higher from here um, without making another low. Now, without making another low, we're looking at the larger wave two retracement. So these are two possibilities. To be honest, the scenario with a larger wave two retracement, I find more likely because it would allow for a more, a more likely wave two. You know, if a wave two is very shallow, it's just don't like it. Um, but these are the scenarios that you just need to have on the radar here. The focus is down now, you know that. Um, since we dropped below 18.9K, the focus has been on the downside and it is and it will be unless we break impulsively above $22,100. Yeah, and that's my update about Bitcoin. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.